In Indonesia, there are one bird species with predominantly green feathers. The color of their plumage makes it easy for these birds to hide and camouflage among the tree leaves that fill the forest, hiding from predators. However, these characteristics do not make them safe from the threat of humans, who often trap and catch them, to be then traded in the bird market. The name of these birds is the greater green leaf bird. It's the aviary! Guys, all the birds in this aviary are official. Some birds are not yet included in the list of protected animal categories, and some are already. But all the birds here have letters. Some birds come from captivity, and birds have gone through data collection. So, old collection and donated birds were recorded in January 2020. And one of them was the greater green leaf bird. The greater green leaf bird was not a protected bird in the previous regulation, but now they are protected birds, meaning their population in the wild is very rare. Yes, that's right. However, I have obtained permission and official data collection to maintain greater green leaf birds and breed them. Yes, <laughs> because I want to preserve them and hopefully they can breed a lot here before returning them to the wild. Yes, that's right. And the process will be quite long. But I have a feeling they can breed soon. The female bird is in heat. That's it, guys. If that's the case, we'll just let them go. Instead of fighting in a cage, it's better to chase each other in the wild so that they can get matched right away. Let's go. The greater green leaf bird is awesome. Well, he can imitate the sound of an eagle. Guys, are you ready? Oh! It's a male bird. Both are out. <coughs> Greater green leaf bird, Chloropsis sonorathi. Greater green leaf bird or Chloropsis sonorathi is a bird from the family Chloropsidae. Greater green leaf bird males and females both have a green leaf body. However, they have a striking difference, in which the male greater green leaf bird is decorated with a black mask that extends down to the neck. Meanwhile, the female bird does not have a cover at all. Instead, their chins have eye circles, and their chin and throat are yellow. If we look closely, the male and female greater green leaf birds have a blue stripe on the side of their chin and a thick black beak. Greater Green Leaf Bird is an inhabitant of the forests of Southeast Asia. Their distribution area is vast, from Thailand, Myanmar, Brunei, Singapore, Malaysia, to Indonesia. In Indonesia, they inhabit the islands of Sumatra, Java, Borneo, 
Natuna, and Bali. They can be found in the lowlands to hilly areas up to 1,000 meters above sea level. Their natural habitat is in subtropical and tropical lowland forests and mangroves, secondary forests, and forest edge areas. They are also known as loyal visitors to rubber plantations. In those forests, the greater green leaf bird likes to perch on the tops of tall trees and thick leaves, then fly from tree to tree and jump from branch to branch. They are birds that can live alone, although they are often seen living in pairs or groups of birds of the same or different species, such as bulbuls, drongos, and tailor birds. However, sometimes the greater green leaf bird acts aggressively towards birds of other species whose smaller body size. And when the availability of food in nature is running low, the male greater green leaf bird will guard certain trees against other birds. After all, they have to eat. The tree that provides the greater green leaf bird's favorite food is figs. However, they are not picky birds. No matter what kind, they will eat whatever fruit they find. Often they eat the fruit whole. If the edible fruit is too large, they will make a hole in the fruit and suck the juices. Apart from fruits, they also like to eat insects. The nectar. Their strong beak and pointed tongue make it easy for them to hunt insects and suck nectar. When the breeding season approaches, the male greater green leaf bird will allow his partner to take the insects in his beak. After mating, the female greater green leaf bird will incubate two to three eggs alone, while her partner will find food and feed them. The pink eggs are incubated for about two weeks in a bowl-shaped nest made by the female from stalks, leaves, and tiny roots. Usually, their nests are located at the ends of tree branches or between tree branches. After the eggs hatch, the female greater green leaf bird will take care of and raise their young alone. As Irfan and his team mentioned, the greater green leaf bird can imitate the sounds of other birds. They also have a natural melodious voice. And it is for that reason many people enter these birds in competitions. This high demand eventually affects their fishing activities in the wild. So the greater green leaf bird population is becoming increasingly scarce. The greater green leaf bird is included in the endangered category on the IUCN red list. The greater green leaf bird has been designated as a protected animal in Indonesia because its population has declined. This condition is, of course, miserable. Therefore, let's together protect these birds and breed them. Don't catch them in the wild, especially if the reason is to keep them as pets or enter competitions. It is said that leaf bird feathers will fall out under stress, and they are also quite sensitive to disturbance. That's one additional reason we miss them.